Up next at running back, we should take a look at Alfred Morris of the 49ers. Tell me your thought process behind this, Greg. In all honesty, I always love Alfred Morris. And as Frank Stample was telling me on the Fantasy Best Friends Forever, I can't quit him. And it's true. It's not the Alfred Morris part that I can't quit. It's Kyle Shanahan. He always makes gold out of whoever the running back is. You saw it last year with Carlos Hyde. You've seen it his entire career when he was in Houston, and Atlanta, and Washington. Now he's in San Francisco, and it was one of the many reasons that fantasy experts love Jarek McKinnon coming into the season. McKinnon goes away. Who stepped up? Matt Breida, who is on his way to a career outing this past Sunday. But then he gets hurt with what they're calling a mid-ankle sprain. Next man up? It's Alfred Morris. We already know he can score touchdowns. We already know how good he is between the tackles. Now there's a possibility he'll get a chance to excel in the passing game as well. They're going to use Kyle Juszczyk in that passing down role, but the majority of the time, I believe it's going to be Alfred Morris on the field. In the league that I drafted Morris in, I never dropped him. I held on, and in fact, I started him last Sunday, and he wound up getting about 12.5 points for me. Going forward, I don't have to worry about Matt Breida anymore. It's going to be all Alfred Morris. If somebody dropped him, and I believe he's available in about 50% of leagues, make sure you go out and pick him up. And just this past week, Morris did net those double-digit fantasy points on FanDuel that you're always looking for at any position. He had 91 yards. He also got three receptions that day. And the game script, as Greg mentioned, is such that Alfred Morris should get plenty of work.